for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new, a new uh, what's I'm gonna call it, hero who is currently available in the event store for 2,800 gold. But before we get into the gameplay, I do want to show what else is in the event store. The only new thing that was added to the event section was Urban Assault Sledgehammer. As for the weekly section, we got some Legendary Flux, Razor Wire, Armory Slots. We also got some Epic Sniper Defenders and Survivors, Evolution Materials, Commando Spitfire, as well as Perk Up, Rescue Trooper Ramirez. And we've gotten gameplay of a reskinned version of Rescue Trooper Ramirez. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. We also got some Uncommon Perk Up, Reperk, the Room Sweeper, which is like an automatic shotgun, and it's really good when it comes to doing damage quickly. And we also got some legendary wall lights, and both of these are going to cost 700 daily coins. If you had to choose just one of these, I would recommend that you choose the Room Sweeper, and you're going to want to use that with the Raider Soldier. The other thing I would recommend getting, obviously, is the Legendary Flux. That way you'll be able to recruit heroes from your collection book if you want to. But yeah, that sums it up for everything that's in the event store. Although the new Urban Assault Sledgehammer is a reskinned version of Skull Trooper Jonesy and Urban Assault Headhunter, I am still going to run through his perks really quick. If you'd like to jump straight to the gameplay, then skip ahead to the time that you see on the screen now. But yeah, his three main abilities are the Minigun, Shockwave, and Frag Grenade. He also has Advanced Tactics, as well as Debilitating Shots and Lingering Pain. And both of those are going to help you and your teammates do more damage. He also has Steady Aim, which reduces the recoil. And he also has Quick Clip, which is going to increase your reload speed. He also has Make It Rain, as well as Rain Faster, which is going to increase your rate of fire whenever you get headshots. So you definitely want to go for headshots using Urban Assault Soldiers. He also has Kneecapper, which is another perk that allows you and your teammates to do more damage. And he also has Keep Out, which makes your grenades leave a residual energy field doing 15% of the initial grenade blast damage every one second for 10 seconds. And at the very bottom it says Rifle Focus Soldier who gets bonuses for successful headshots. As for his bonuses, he has improved headshots for a support squad bonus. And that's a really good support squad bonus if you're playing with an urban assault or using weapons that have extra headshot damage. And he has Lucky Stars for his tactical squad bonus, which increases Ninja's throwing stars headshot damage. And yeah, that sums it up for all of his perks. The loadout we're going to be using is Urban Assault in our primary, Urban Assault in our support slot, and Raven in our tactical slot. Wait, why are there no level 100 missions? Oh, that's not good. Wait. <laughs> what? Where the hell are the... <laughs> what? You're... Where the hell are the level 100 missions, <laughs> man? I don't know! Uh, if we do this group mission, it should be level 100. All right. all right, it doesn't hurt to try. All right, let's do. <gasps> it's got survive four times the survivor XP. Yes, let's do it. Fuck it, I need survivor. Oh, XP. now he wants to do it. People. Wait, and it's got and it's got thirty six pure drops of rain <gasps> and gold. <gasps> let's do it. <laughs> he just wants some extra XP. Hold on, let me see. All right, so it, we're gonna do this cookies. We're doing this. Well, I'm just finished munching on these hot Cheetos real quick. What kind of husk do we get? Shared hero damage. Oh, oh you better hell not get no. me killed. You no, better not get me hey, killed. Well, I don't like that. That's the kind of. No, this is cool because it, it's in the new zone. Thunder Route 99. So we get to build in the new zone. All right, so before we get into the gameplay, I do want to show a couple examples of his perks. And the weapon we're going to be using is this Nature Grave Digger. A couple of his perks increase your rate of fire whenever you get headshots. So this is his rate of fire uh, before we get headshots. And now we're going to go ahead and get some headshots and test it out. Here we go. As you can see, the rate of fire increased after we get those headshots. Let's go ahead and test it out against this dude. I don't even think you have to like fully kill him. Oh no. You just have to. Yep, he ends up disappearing. Alright, let's go ahead and test it out on this level 100 smasher. Oh, we killed him quick. Wait, how quick was that? Murmur. Uh, he also has a residual field on his grenade, which gives it that blue electricity effect. And it also damages them over time as well. 
uh, really good for choke points. I'll usually throw them in front of a tunnel or something. Oh my god! There's a many of them. <laughs> he holds a total of three grenades. Sorry. And the cooldown for each of those is 25 seconds. He doesn't have any perks in regards to his shockwave. Cookies, you alright? You look like a survivor over there. Running away from <laughs> us. I am, man. There's like so many. Well, evidently the shockwave doesn't work through the fence. Uh, the cooldown for that was 25 seconds. We'll try it again here in a second. So yeah, just to double check the uh, cooldown, let's check. Yes, 25 seconds. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the cooldown for this minigun as well. And then we'll start building. Look at that parkour action right there, though. Uh, he also has steady aim. And I'm not sure how to show an example of that, but we'll go ahead and kill these husks real quick. And he also has quick clip, which is going to help you reload faster. And you see there's the reload with the grave digger. It's going to reload 30% faster, basically. Spotted. Not possible. Nope. We had to bring Grandpa out Sorry. for this one, Cookies. Yeah. The cooldown for the minigun Gear is up. 1 minute and 40 seconds. And he doesn't have any perks in regards to his minigun either. We'll try to use it during the defense, though. But it's also good for clearing out nearby structures uh this is our first time getting gameplay on a new canny valley map yeah the cannibalism map which is cool and this is also our first time doing a group mission so wish us luck people Ooh, is that a helicopter that's cool uh he's over here sightseeing Sorry, can't. there's a helicopter right there uh-uh all right here we go people they didn't give us any type of notification in regards to element so we just went ahead and built with metal. They're regular. They're regular. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with our abilities first. Smasher. Hey, one. Smasher. Yeah, we got him. I don't think we went over the build limit. No, we but not. we do have a couple of defenders helping us out. Uncle and Grandpa. <laughs> You know Grandpa when it comes to snipers. Oh, it looks like they're breaking through over here. Let's go use oh, our shock a, there, There's a regular smasher coming in. And throw a grenade over there. Try to keep them off that point. We don't want them going that way. Two smashers are coming in, anyone. Alright. We got them. I feel like I'm melting with Urban Assault, man. Definitely one of the best, if not the Whoa. best, hero in the game at the moment. You alright, Cookies? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, we got one charging, charging at us. Yep, get him. Hold on. I'm, I gotta rebuild that real quick. I gotta rebuild this. Yep. We got blasters too. Watch out for them. Yeah, I know. The blasters are like bad. Whoa! Be careful. Uh, I think they're breaking through over here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my second turret. I already used the, my two turns on the, the on this side. I, I, I gotta recharge. I gotta recharge. I'm gonna place a slow fill on here. All right, looks like we got something I, going on. Oh, we got a smasher in here. Oh, I, I didn't close it off. Here. Embarrassing. I did not close it off. Let's go ahead and close it off real quick. We didn't lose any, uh, or it didn't get corrupted, so we're good. How you holding over there, man? I'm just rebuilding everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get Uncle real quick. Oh my God! It's changing direction. Oh, it's changing to uh, southwest and I think northwest. Nope. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a couple more traps in here. They got shield uh, husk. They won. Shield. All right. No elementals though, which is kind of odd. Uh, normally, I use my shock wave whenever I see the shielders. Uh, inside of the shield, obviously. So I can do damage to whoever's in it. I think I hear a smasher. I don't see one. I heard a roar. Or oh, it could be just in my imagination. I need to finish upgrading these walls. Got it. Oh crap, my father's calling. Don't worry about it, I can I can handle it, I think. Alright, hold on. I laid a lot of traps down. 
Do what you gotta do. Oh man, they are. They're ganking up on Uncle. We gotta take her in here too. Uh, a couple of other perks I didn't mention earlier is the debilitating shots, the lingering pain, and knee capper. And all of those perks will help you do more damage. And they can also help your teammates do more damage as well. Oh man, Cookies is down. Cookie down. There we go. Oh my bad, dude. Oh, we got zappers. I just killed a zapper. There's another one. Uh, I need to try to get some health real quick. Alright, uh... Oh my gosh. Not at this time. Son of a mother. Come I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna try to make a, a healing pad real quick. Do you have any turrets? Uh, uh, no, they're all recharging at the moment. My slow pool is recharging and my turns are still recharging. Well, you know, counting down. We don't have any uh, mini bosses on this one. Which is good. We do get takers and blasters coming in. Got it. Give me a second, I want. Alright. It's a good thing I placed them traps down there. Down. Oh my gosh. I had a feeling they were going to come from over there. Uh, but one way you can tell if an enemy is affected by debilitating shots is you'll see that little orange symbol above their head. That means you and your teammates can do more damage to it. Alright, give me a second. I want to be right back real quick, okay? Hey, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll be right back real quick. Good. Oh, cake exploder. I need to kill like three more cake exploders. Sorry. All right, let's go ahead and throw another grenade. They're coming from that direction. And I think one of our defenders up. Oh, a couple people are down. Cookies and a defender. Oh, hold on. Who's down? Let's get Uncle real quick. Oh, please don't die. Oh, my goodness. Let's go ahead and use this. I kind of like this spot over here. Welcome back. Oh um, man. Everyone, we got some propanes coming in as well too. Yep, just try to let them go through the trap if you need to. Oh my god, I'm okay. Uh how's the other side? Uh other side's good. They're they're getting knocked off the edge. Uh when you're playing with urban assault, it's really good to try to at least shoot the miss monsters whenever Oh, they broke through. Oh my goodness. Wait, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a slow kill, come on. Yep, add it, add it. Let me throw up my turret too. Got it. Oh man, I didn't know we they was breaking through over there, cookies. I, I didn't know I did not know they were over there, to be honest. I did not know that. You should have said we were compromised. Oh my god, we did get compromised. Actually ultimately compromised because there's so many of them, so yeah. We're good, we only lost one. Honestly, I kinda like the group missions better than the normal missions we do. It seems more intense a little bit. What you think about it? I think it's really cool, to be honest. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I mean, for me, I think it's amazing. But if you want to have like a strategic, you know, team, then that'd be good as well. Uh, it wasn't too. I mean, we did lose one file, but it wasn't too yeah. bad. I did not know. Um, I was running on the other side because I, I saw some um, blasters, but I did not know the smasher was on the side where the um, the data was. That's why I was like, oh my god, I had to run over there. Oh, I'm down. Oh, yep, there's a a healing pad oh, back here. Oh, I'm gonna revive myself real quick. Oh no. No, 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 oh, no, no, don't yep, worry about me. Don't yep, worry about me. Yep, I gotta leave. I got bad. it, I got it, I got it. No, it's okay, it's okay. I had to get out of there, man. Get out of there, my dude. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a ton uh a grenade in the tunnel. Help us out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I oh, really don't no. wanna die. Yep. I'm just gonna keep throwing grenades in that tunnel, man. There, we get, I got one more loop. turret. I got one more turret. We're, we're getting a lot of blasters in this area right here. Oh, there's only 20 seconds left. Oh, well, I guess that'll do it for this one. Uh, like I said, he's definitely one of the best heroes in the game. If you don't have an urban assault already, 
Uh, I recommend you go ahead and get him. And go for headshots. That's it. That was an awesome hit right there. Looking good. good job, Cookies. We did it. All right, so that'll do it for our first Urban Assault Sledgehammer gameplay, as well as our first group mission and first Candy Valley Desert map mission. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and thanks for